an unbelievable monster squid to the massive blue whale. Here are 10 of the world's biggest sea creatures. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 10, the bloop. This underwater noise was picked up by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration across the Pacific in 1997. A mystery arose as to how the low frequency sound was heard at two listening stations located around 5,000 kilometers apart. A lot of theories arose that this noise was actually organic in nature and may have been produced by some unknown massive beast dwelling at the bottom of the ocean, an animal that might be the largest sea critter ever discovered. But the NOAA would later confirm that the noise was not made by an animal. The noise was actually an ice quake. That is, the sound was produced by ice as it cracks and breaks up. Experts say there are thousands of these ice quakes that occur each year as sea ice slides off of glaciers and into the ocean. That would seem to be the final word on the subject. Yet, as the NOAA itself has stated, more than 95% of the world's deep oceans have yet to be explored. Number 9. Ocean Sunfish, also known as the Mola Mola. It can weigh more than 2,200 pounds and qualifies as the heaviest bony fish yet discovered. But the largest specimens are said to weigh up to 5,000 pounds. A basic description of the animal would be a huge fish head with a tail. Its main body is flattened with an average length of almost six feet. With the dorsal and ventral fins extended, the creatures can be as long as they are tall. In 2015, a huge specimen was caught by some fishermen in Indonesia, although technically the creature washed ashore. This sunfish measured over six feet long and weighed more than one and a half tons. Unfortunately, the rare fish was in critical condition when discovered, and although efforts were made to return it to the sea, the fish eventually perished. Despite their immense size, Sunfish are docile overall and pose no threat to human divers. They're found in tropical waters throughout the world's oceans. Number 8. Sea sponges. No matter their appearance, sea sponges are living animals, and some scientists think sea sponges might be the first critters that ever appeared on Earth. Some of the things that set sponges apart from other multicellular creatures is that they possess no true organs or tissues, and they lack body symmetry. Generally, they can range in size from less than an inch to around six feet. But a sponge found in the remote waters between Hawaii and Midway Atoll more than exceeded six feet. Experts say this creature was around the size of a minivan. It was found at depths of around 7,000 feet by a remote operated vehicle. At an estimated 12 feet wide and 7 feet long, it's thought to be the largest sea sponge on record. Since these animals don't possess growth rings like corals or trees, it's difficult to reliably estimate its age. But experts say it's possibly one of the oldest animals on Earth. Number 7 giant isopod. This refers to nearly 20 species of large isopods that live in the deep, cold waters of the Pacific, the Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. And despite their appearance, they are not related to bugs and cockroaches. But they are crustaceans that are distantly related to shrimp and crabs. And they have a cousin on land called the woodlouse. These creatures are an example of deep sea gigantism, causing them to grow bigger than normal isopods. It's theorized the huge size could be an adaptation that helps them better withstand the intense ocean pressure at 7,000 feet or more. They can typically reach lengths of 14 inches or longer and weigh close to 4 pounds. Did you know these isopods have the largest eggs of all marine invertebrates? Number 6 whale sharks. These are the biggest fish on the planet. They can reach lengths over 40 feet and weigh around 47,000 pounds. They're also considered to be an endangered species. Over the past 75 years, the numbers have been cut in half. Now, no one knows exactly how many of these creatures are left. But recently, scientists have developed a technique that may help get a better idea of the numbers. Environmental DNA sequencing, or eDNA, enables researchers to analyze water where the animals have been. From that analysis, an estimate can be made of the whale shark's population across vast areas of ocean. eDNA can also yield genetic information that helps in managing wild populations of the animals. Whale sharks are considered gentle giants and feed on mass quantities of plankton and small fish, but the numbers have been gutted largely due to the demand for the fins, meat, and various other parts used in traditional medicines. Number five. 
Lion's Mane Jellyfish. This is considered the largest species of jellyfish on the planet. The biggest recorded specimen had a bell that measured more than seven and a half feet and tentacles over 120 feet long. They used the stinging tentacles to capture and eat prey like fish and smaller jellyfish. They come in a variety of colors and tend to favor cold water environments from the Arctic to the northern Pacific Ocean. Both of those qualities were captured on film by Alexander Semenov, a marine biologist who took a series of stunning photographs featuring the massive jelly. He had occasion to take the pictures while diving in the remote waters of the White Sea Biological Station on the coast of Western Russia. Diving in waters of minus two degrees Celsius, the environment is clear enough to see 40 meters underwater. That yielded these images that give the creature an alien appearance as its thin tentacles billow about searching for prey. Did you know that larger specimens of these jellyfish are usually purple, while smaller, younger jellies are often lighter orange or tan in color? Number four, monster squids. Giant squids are deep ocean creatures that are said to grow up to 43 feet long. That's second only to the length of the colossal squid, estimated at some 46 feet and can weigh more than 1,600 pounds. They're two of the largest living organisms in the world and are often thought to be the real-life basis of the mythical kraken. In 2015, Russian fishermen encountered a gigantic squid that tried to feast on a fish they were hauling to the vessel. You can see images of the squid captured from video. The men prodded the creature with poles and seemed to drive it away, but the creature kept grabbing at the fish with its beak. After battling back and forth with the immense animal, it finally gave gave up and swam away. But in all the confusion, it was never established whether the cephalopod was a giant squid or a colossal squid. Number three. Now we found this photo, but not a whole lot of information to go with it. It's said to be a huge creature that was caught in Cambodia. We haven't been able to identify the location or what kind of creature it is exactly, but it does appear that the animal is surrounded by net fishermen, although it seems those folks would need more than a net to capture a beast that size. We tend to think this picture may have been manipulated. For one thing, the creature seems to be laying on the bottom of what appears to be a rather shallow pond. So how would it be able to swim to that location? We're not 100% convinced on this one. Number two. Blue whale. Now this is an easy choice for the second spot. The blue whale is the largest animal known to have ever existed. Because of the massive size, the animals are difficult to weigh, but the heaviest estimated weight recorded was around 191 tons, although experts feel the creatures could easily weigh 200 tons or more. The greatest recorded length for a blue whale was around 104 feet. These animals have a diet made up mostly of krill, and they can put away some 40 million krill, or the near equivalent of 8,000 pounds each day. Did you know blue whales belong to the same family as humpback whales? Number one. So, what sea creature could possibly be bigger than the blue whale? Well, the answer could be the very sea itself. That's according to a study conducted by the University of Illinois. It suggests that the sea became a type of global mega-organism that covered the Earth some three billion years before giving rise to the progenitors of all living creatures today. Scientists refer to this massive organism as LUCA, L-U-C-A. It's an acronym for Last Universal Common ancestor, and the study indicates that LUCA is traceable to every domain of life, including animals, plants, and fungi. Experts say it was this mega-organism that filled the Earth's oceans and became a type of global genetic exchange for cells that struggled to survive on their own. Those cells freely swapped their genes and proteins with one another for hundreds of millions of years, giving rise to a massive single organism. And this organism eventually split into the domains of bacteria, eukaryotes, and archaea. As cells evolved ways of providing for their own existence, LUCA was broken apart, but that gave rise to the birth of all things living today. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. 